Hi there. Dr. Gary here on the road. We sell dental practices nationwide. We are dental practice brokers. So let's get into, uh, and, and we are, I was a dentist for 25 years doing the dental practice brokerage for 14 years. So let's get into today's topic. This just happened in the last 72 hours. Two dentists. One seventy one and the other is seventy four. Both of them afraid to get retired because they don't know what they would do. They want to keep working because they like dentistry and afraid to retire. What is the best advice? We'll get into that. As you know, we have ten employees, we're in twenty four states. And we're available to you uh, 20, basically from 8 to 9 every day, 363 days a year. Call us, we'll answer the phone. If I'm on a cruise ship or something, my staff will answer the phone. And even then, I try to get to the uh, emails twice, uh, uh, twice every 24 hours. Um, so what we have also here is, if you want to reach us, it's 201-663-0935. And our website is dentalpracticeguide.com or nationwidedentalpracticebrokers.com. Just give us a call. And if you just want to chat <clears throat> or get the price, <clears throat> a brief evaluation of your practice, we happen to do it. Now, everything you're about to hear is for entertainment purposes. It's not legal or business advice. All right? If you're thinking about working with the DSOs and selling to them, please call us first. Because we work closely with them. We're not employed by them. But they'll often pay our commission. So, therefore, there's no commission to the seller under most circumstances. And on top of that... Um, when you work with us and the deal is over $1 million as a successful sale price, upon successful closing, we'll reimburse seller legal fees based on some criteria, but we just did that two weeks ago. We'll reimburse the seller's legal fees upon successful uh, closing. So that's going to be a big help to you. Now, what's going on with these two guys? 71 and 74, I think it was. They're, they're shaking in their feet, shaking in their shoes because they don't know what they're going to do once they retire. I told them that's the least of your problems, believe me. The fact that you're healthy now at this age, 71, 74, it means you're probably going to make it to at least 85. But hanging on to your office is not wise. Because unfortunately, you could get in an accident, you could get disabled, whatever it is, it's not a good situation. You've had many, many years of successful dentistry. The best thing to do in your circumstance is get some kind of work agreement with the new buyer, and you work for the buyer. So you're still doing dentistry, which you love, but you don't have the headaches anymore. You're an employee, and it works out great, believe me. And then slowly you'll peter away. I mean, dentistry is okay. I enjoyed it for 25 years. I like the patients. Hey, the patients are great. But right now, one of my buddies has that 105-foot yacht. And we go up and down the intercoastal on or out to the Bahamas with our college buddies. How do you beat that? I don't know. I guess you are enjoying yourself more at the dental office. It's so wonderful. And I'm sunning going up the intercoastal, which is like magnificent, to Georgia. We're going to probably go to Savannah one day. Savannah. So, I mean, I guess everybody's different, but I, I just, you know, I can't. I understand dentistry, you enjoy it, but I'd rather be on a yacht in the middle of the Caribbean, frankly. But you do whatever. But these two doctors have so much fear. What I tried to sell them is there is more out there for you. If you're an intelligent businessman and you're astute and you know what you want, there's stuff out there for you. You're going to have to just develop it as with time goes on. And that development is, it, that field of work could be consulting, could be some kind of brokerage, could be some kind of sales where you're not stuck to an office. That's what I think would be the best for you. You're not jammed into an office and you have flexibility. Okay? That's where I think you'll uh, be, you'll really shine. And then, excuse me, like me, 
You can have your employees work from home, remote. If they're all mature, they're probably pretty, uh, you know, pretty trustworthy. And I speak to them virtually every day, so I know what's going on with everybody. And that's my suggestion. There are fields of work which you want to get into. Now, they asked me, what are these other doctors doing that are retiring? I said, well, some are catching up with lifelong dreams, such as traveling. They want to travel the world, and they have not been doing it. They lost a lot of years working, and now it's game time to get out there and get everything out and get working on everything. That is your retirement. Their retirement is the cruise ships, the vacations, and so forth. Others work a day or two a week at their present office. If the office is doing over 800000 there may be enough financial room for the two of you. So that's something to uh, consider. So it is... Uh, the world of opportunities. I mean, you don't know. You may not find out what you want to do until you try. Until you let go of the dental office and your mind runs free. There's so many opportunities. You could start your own business. The startup costs are so low. The internet information, which is never available 30 years ago, is now available. You don't have to go to the library. You have it at your fingertips. Before, all the information was at the library. Now it's changed. So, think about that. All right? Opportunities are out there. Now, the possibility, and I don't want to be all gloom doom about this, the possibility of them getting disabled beyond the age of 70, and the odds go up. I mean, what can I tell you? You know, you're playing with fire. You keep going. But the problem these two dentists make is that they base their decisions on the last 40, 50 years they've been a dentist. Well, I did great last year. I find how fine, I feel fine today. Why should I even be remotely thinking about it? I said, because there's a possibility you can get in an accident. I tell you, with those two people I uh, sell in their practice, that they got in a huge car accident with the uh, tractor trailer. Huge. They just don't feel the same anymore. And they look at life differently, they told me. So you, you may be healthy, but you could also get in an accident. More time on the road, more exposure. You know, it can happen. So you're 71 and 74. Get out of town. Get that thing sold. It's going to take four to eight months to sell. And if you really love dentistry, I understand that. And you'd rather not be on a yacht going with your college buddies going up the intercoastal, I think it was a 105 foot yacht we were on, going up the intercoastal, I don't know what to tell you. If that's the life you want at a dental office and you don't want to be traveling and everything else, that's a different tack, but I think there's enough for you out there. Just to relax, have fun, see the world, see friends, don't be stuck to an office, don't be stuck to a schedule, you know, leave yourself your world open, that's what you have to do. All right, team, thank you for listening. You want to hear more of this, hit the subscribe button, and away we go. All right.